When you get into a slump, it can be hard to pull yourself out. This is something the pandemic made very real for many of us. In fact, according to a survey by Public Health England, more than 40% of adults in England gained weight during the pandemic. Having experienced this firsthand during the pandemic, this served as the motivation that three friends needed to create the YC Combinator Startup Alfie, the first program for men that combines doctor-prescribed medication, one-on-one -on -one health coaching, and community-based competition to help men achieve their weight loss goals. In today's episode, we speak with Alexander Singh, a former healthcare consultant turned co-founder of Alfie, who shares how Alfie works and how it separates itself from other companies that provide weight loss programs. I hope you liked today's episode. Uh, my name is Alexander Singh. I'm a former healthcare consultant and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Alfie. Alfie is a digital men's health clinic that helps men achieve 15% weight loss in under one year through a combination of doctor prescribed medications, one-on-one -on -one health coaching and community-based competitions. Fantastic. That sounds awesome. I would love to know how the company began if possible, but to be honest, I really, really want to hear about these um, competitions. Could we just like uh, put a pin in the, the how the company began and could you, could you go into that a little bit more? Certainly. So we found some research from the University of Penn when we were starting out kind of the protocols for this company. And we saw that when men compete in competitions, uh, they can have a 120% increase in activity day over day. So things like step challenges, workout competitions, aspects like that. And we wanted to find a way that we could really target men and, and keep them interested in their exercise and, and diet goals. So we decided to essentially create small groups of men. We call them our man caves. And we have three to five men in them. We give them a bi-weekly competition, say a step challenge for example. And then um, throughout that competition, they see, you know, other men doing really well. They want to motivate themselves to do even better with their exercise goals. And they end up staying on track significantly better and, and losing weight faster with these competitions. And the research shows that you don't necessarily need prizes to make the competitions worth users' time. Uh, but we also do offer small prizes that we've been thinking about, like um, gift cards or potentially, you know, discounts on the program moving forward and things like that to incentivize it even more. So that's a fantastic way of, um, I suppose, taking advantage of people's naturally competitive nature to, to help them reach their goals. I like that. And um, I see other kind of apps doing that as well. I know, well, that um, I use Duolingo, for example, and they're always having these leagues and like sending you notifications about coming at the top of your league or whatever. Um, I don't really participate, but I definitely admit that when I am actually very dedicated to, to practicing on Duolingo, it is, it is encouraging. Um, but now I would love to get to the question of like, how did the company begin and how did all this start? Definitely. So during COVID, we all as three co-founders put on weight. We struggled with weight loss, you know, being very sedentary and, and stuck at home for a long time. And we also at the same time realized through our third co-founder, Hassan, who's a practicing physician, that patients were coming into the clinic with more and more weight on and um, much higher prevalences of obesity. And in our research, we found that the average man who put on unwanted weight during the pandemic put on 37 pounds. So as technologists, we were searching for programs that we could use and we could share with our family members. And what we found was that the major weight loss companies out there had user bases that were over 90% women. So we found a gap in weight loss programs and weight loss support specifically for men. So we essentially set out to build the company that we were looking for ourselves. Now, I know that you obviously mentioned one distinguishing factor there, uh, the fact that you specifically work with uh, male customers. And also you mentioned about the competitions, but Besides those, would you be able to break down how Alfie works and how it separates it, how it separates itself from other companies that provide like weight loss programs? Definitely. So Alfie combines three research-based weight loss methods into a single solution for men. The first being doctor-prescribed medications, which can include things like glucagon-like peptide one or GLP-1 agonist medications. And those medications essentially mimic the natural GLP-1 hormones that your 
body produces, which are secreted following digestion, and they bind to receptors in your brain to suppress your appetite. So it keeps you from eating or overeating and binge eating. And then the research also shows that when you combine these medications with exercise and diet, that allows you to lose on average around 15% of your weight in under one year. But we found that it's really hard to stay on track of these lifestyle changes by yourself. So our health coaches utilize methods, methods that have been shown in the research as effective strategies to help men um, come up with goals and stick to those goals and kind of provide accountability for their weight loss. And then lastly, as I was saying, we gather the men in these small groups of three to five people for the competitions, which are shown to increase activity by 120% compared to no competition. And, you know, that being a main differentiator, but also through our health coaching, we found that a significant differentiator compared to uh, a normal or a competitive weight loss company is the fact that our health coaches really focus on autonomy from a male perspective. We found that men don't particularly like to be told what to do. So we kind of thought back to that movie Inception, if you've seen that, and came up with this concept of sort of trying to incept the idea of weight loss and weight loss strategy into our members' minds um, so that it feels really like I'm coming up with this strategy myself and I'm going to be much more likely to stick to that strategy. Oh, I love that film and I think that's fantastic that you've incorporated that approach into it. Um, and I have to say, uh, I will admit that um, a lot of this stuff is kind of new to me. I suppose weight loss is something that I personally have never had to deal with. In fact, I've always had the opposite. Uh, I come from a, a family of a stick and sex and we're all incredibly skinny. So I've always grown up just uh, <laughs> skin and bones. So I, I'm i not too familiar with like um, all the aspects which uh, come with uh, the work that you do. But I was checking out the, your FAQs page and you do have a very comprehensive uh, page there that I would recommend people check out if they want to know more about the company. Um, and this is one of the questions that was answered there. But I really would love to know, like, what is a metabolic review? Uh, so I think it's a common misconception that weight loss is just about exercise and diet and how you balance each of those, because there has been shown that there's a large interplay of biology and genetics that arise when it comes to weight loss. So the metabolic review essentially schedules you for a lab test at a local center or send someone to your home to take a lab test. Um, and then our prof healthcare professionals review those results to look at risk factors for medication, as well as other indications to understand if someone's a great fit for the program. So really the, the metabolic review allows us to deep dive into each individual's hormone levels, blood balances, as well as you know, which medication specifically can um, be right for that individual. And then we're also checking for comorbidities of the medications to make sure that it's really safe for someone to be on these medications in the first place. Uh, we don't just wanna be a company where everyone gets a medication and you know, there's might be risks associated with that or it's not right for the person. We really wanna target each individual and create a personalized weight loss platform for them. Uh, and then there's also another reason why we do these metabolic reviews, because weight loss can have really significant positive effects on your metabolic health as a whole. You know, it can be very obvious when a program like this is going well because you'll lose weight, but there's other things kind of behind the scenes that are also um, improving as well. So we can take a starting profile of where your metabolic health is, and then we can continue these reviews at six and 12 months and we can show overall improvements in your health and hormone levels and really demonstrate to our members that we're not just improving your weight but we're also improving your entire metabolic profile that's fantastic so yeah so much more than just the before and after photo and uh yeah very objective data there and i like the fact you're doing your research not just for the safety aspect that you mentioned but i suppose that it, like, the idea of taking a one-size-fits-all approach to something like this just sounds like it's destined to fail. Hopefully you're enjoying the show. And if you are, make sure you subscribe and never miss an episode. You can find us on all your usual podcast sites, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Podcast Addict, and a whole lot more, including YouTube. And we want to hear what you think, so be sure to leave us a review. 
Just search Brains Bite Back wherever you get your podcasts. I would also really like to know if anyone's listening to this and they're perhaps contemplating using your services, like how much do they cost? Uh, so right now we charge $120 per month and that covers access to our providers, access to our health coaches and access to our communities. And then we also have a full tech stack that we've built out that helps get insurance approval for the medications that we prescribe. So we work directly with your insurance to take care of any issues that there might be in getting coverage or anything like that. Awesome. Now I realize that you might not be able to get into specific details um, with names or anything like that, given the nature of this. But I would love to understand if you can, I'd love to really hear if you can share some specific case studies of how Alfie services had an impact. Definitely. So we launched only three weeks ago, actually, but we're really excited to say that we're already seeing significant weight loss in our members and we're on track to have each one of them lose over that 15% weight um, that we do promise on our, on our website. So that's been really exciting for us to see this early progress with our members and, and having them lose weight so fast compared to other programs they've tried or other methods they've tried at home. Um, so we don't necessarily have any specific case studies because we've been so early, but just as a general trend, seeing really significant weight loss very early on and, and very quickly, which is awesome and really demonstrates the efficacy of our program. And it's also been very interesting for us as well, because for many of our members, we're actually the first doctor they've seen in two to three years. Um, we do know that men tend to be 33% less likely to see a primary care physician than women. Um, and this has really demonstrated for us that we're providing a service that really resonates with men from a health perspective, in addition to, you know, looking good and, and feeling better about themselves. That's fantastic. Um, I honestly had no idea that your company was that young. So it's fantastic to hear that you folks have uh, really hit the ground running, it sounds like. And for my final question, and I suppose this might be an obvious one, considering you're, you're getting up and running now, but what's on the horizon for, for Alfie, like potentially in the short term and maybe some long term goals that you have? Definitely. So we're a part of Y Combinator's Winter 22 batch. Uh, we have demo day coming up. So excited for that, excited for pitching. Um, and then in the coming weeks, we're really launching a whole marketing campaign, uh, launching a blog series to help both our members and people that are interested in our program, both understand what our program's about and the, the ways that it works, as well as just understanding weight loss and the science behind weight loss so that people can become really familiar with a scientific and, and medicine-based approach to weight loss and not just dieting or exercise. Um, and we'll be launching that marketing campaign in, in mid, mid to late April. And then we'll, we'll also be expanding to new states and markets in the US. So right now we service California, Texas, Florida, New York, New Jersey, and the DC, Maryland, Virginia area. Um, but we're definitely expanding into new states fast and, and looking to bring on more providers and, and service uh, the nation as a whole. Um, and then we're also excited to be just expanding our team from the small three founders that we have right now, um, but looking out to hiring a head of growth and a head of product, um, which is super exciting, definitely as a CEO to be making your first hires. Um, I think with all of this, you know, the main goal is really getting to um, an initial group of patients of around um, a thousand, a thousand members, which will give us about 100k in, in MRR and really allow us to demonstrate that product market fit. That's it. Well, I wish you the best of luck with that. Now, I did actually, uh, I I know we had Adrian on recently, and uh, he was the person that actually connected us together. And I did ask him uh, the same question about Y Combinator. And I wanted to essentially get your perspective. Um, I know he told me, or he, he at least shared, shared with our listeners um, advice for anyone listening if they wanted to, I suppose, further their startup journey. Um, and I'd be really interested to know potentially what advice you have. It doesn't matter so much if it overlaps or maybe it echoes what Adrian said, but um, as someone else that's uh, been through the program or on the program, I would yeah, love to hear your thoughts. 
if anyone is listening and they want to perhaps follow in your footsteps, uh, what advice would you have for them to, I suppose, help them really? I think YC's biggest advice is to build something that people want. And I couldn't stress that enough. I think that having great revenue numbers and, and great traction is, is certainly important. Uh, but in these early stages, when you're building a company, it's, it's really just about talking to a lot of users, identifying a problem that's really worth solving and really resonates with all of those users, and then just continuously building, iterating, testing with users and showing that as a founder, you're someone who's really going to go out there and take kind of like a scientific approach coming up with your hypothesis that, you know, this is something that people want, testing it with them, making sure that it's something they want. And if it's not something they want, going back to the drawing board and being comfortable with the ambiguity that you might need to pivot or you might need to change your idea to really fit into that gap. Um, But I think at the end of the day, it's just really continuous iteration and just drive as a founding team to get to that product market fit. And if, if that can come across in your applications and your interview, um, I feel like that would really demonstrate well that you're someone that's worth putting the extra time into from you know an accelerator's perspective. And not just YC, but there's a lot of accelerators out there that are similar or, or offer similar deals. Um, and I think it's the same for a lot of them. Awesome. Thank you for sharing that. And I think, yeah, like even if someone wasn't to make it to YC, I think that's fantastic advice Um, just for harnessing the mentality to to persevere and and produce something, yeah, really worthwhile. So I I appreciate you coming on the show. I appreciate you sharing the work you've done so far and and everything that you've got really like uh, your sights set on. Sounds like you're doing good things. And certainly I think um, the more health services uh, people are encouraged to use, or try or just getting people in front of doctors more frequently certainly can't be a bad thing. So thank you so much for joining me today, Alexander. If people want to follow the work you're doing or sign up for your services, how can they do that? Yeah, so people can find us at joinalfie.com. You can also find us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at alfie 4 men And we're also on LinkedIn as well. And if people are interested in reaching out, connecting, uh, my email is just alexander at joinalfie.com. Happy to connect with people that are interested in the program or fellow founders and and help them in their journeys as well. I also forgot to ask, why is the company called Alfie? So this is actually a really funny story. Um, We are huge nerds, the three of us, and we really like the movie Batman. And when we were thinking about a company name, we really wanted the company to feel like we're going to care for our members and and be that support that they've been looking for. And the first person that we thought of when we thought of somebody who embodies that characteristic is Alfred from Batman. Um, And we ended up just thinking, okay, we'll shorten that name and make it feel a little bit more lighthearted and fun while also having that, you know, serious compassion aspect. And, And that's how we got to the name. I'm so glad I asked because that is a, that is a really cool backstory behind it, and um, yeah, that 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 was one of the first things that played on my mind uh, when I first saw it. I was like, interesting. I got to learn the the backstory behind this, and I'm very satisfied. So, thank you so much for joining me once again today, and um, yeah, best of luck with everything you're doing. Thanks so much for having me. It's been a pleasure. Growing a company has many hurdles. From securing funding to expanding your business capabilities to ranking better on search, each business challenge is uniquely complex. The solution to these challenges is growth-focused digital PR and marketing, and that's where our sponsor Publicize comes in. Publicize sets itself apart from traditional PR companies. It does not charge large retainers or churns out press releases whether you've got a newsworthy announcement or not. Publicize builds on your business's online presence and gets high quality PR and media coverage for startups and entrepreneurs who are priced out of a broken PR industry. And for a limited time only, exclusive to Brains Bite Back listeners, you can receive a social media assessment as part of your package for any tier of service at no extra charge with this special promotion. To find out more, visit publicize.co slash bbb. That's publicize.co slash bbb.
This is the end of today's show. Thank you so much for listening. If you like this and you want to hear more episodes just like it, then follow and subscribe to Brains Bite Back wherever you get your podcasts. We're also available on YouTube under the channel of our publication, The Sociable. Just search Brains Bite Back and you'll find all of our episodes there. We really love hearing what you have to say. So leave us a review on iTunes or on any other podcasting platform to let us know what you think. You can also reach out on Twitter at, at The Sociable. And finally, go to sociable.co where you can find all our episodes and plenty of articles on topics just like this. Thanks again for joining us. And until next time, stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you.